got the post pounder put back together last night and this morning I got up a little earlier and I came up here and I pounded the rest of the posts to complete this fence line. So all the posts are in. I just have to go back now and straighten out some of the crooked ones like this one. managed to get all these posts straightened out. They're not perfect. There's a few that are still a little bit crooked, but they're not horrible. So I did manage to get the braces finished, which look really, I think they look really nice. Um, these, if you're not familiar with fencing, these corner braces are to, uh, are to keep the wire from pulling this corner over. What? So, if I didn't have these braces in here and then I tightened the fence up, this post would want to go into the corner and then the fence would get all saggy. Run, James, run. This is the frame I built to hold the reel. And uh, I'm going to stand, you'll see, you'll see. I'm going to stand it up to hold that reel of barbed wire. All right, so I've pulled this first run out about halfway, and my idea sucks. It, I, um, I've done this for short runs, but obviously I've never done this for a long run of barbed wire. And uh, so the problem is the barbs drag all the way along, so they're picking up all the grass, and it's actually really hard to pull barbed wire through the ground because of all those barbs are grabbing on. So that's part of the problem. It's an easy fix. I'm, I'm, I just called Hannah. She's down at the house with the baby. She's gonna come up here and help me. We're gonna mount that little box on the back of the quad and we'll tie off the one end and then we'll just slowly drive out and it'll unroll as we go. That's a much smarter way. I don't know why we didn't think of that in the first place. The other problem is I bought some cheap barbed wire off Marketplace and I found out why it's cheap because it was double strand and then part way through the roll it turned into single strand that's so fr like i can't believe how frustrating that is this is the 2.0 um, barbed wire unroller and i have the whole team with us we have the whole team why didn't we get any some gloves when you're down there because you're just you're driving the quad well, do you, need, dri in do you the... need driving gloves? I'm stapling. You're stapling? Mm -hmm. We got baby. He's getting fussy under here. <coughs> hey! All right, so we got our first run of barb pulled out. And then on the way back, I pulled out about a half a run. I ran out, so I had to put a new roll on. I have another half roll here. So now we're going along and we're just marking our measurements where we want to staple. 48 to the top, yeah. And then nine inch spacing to the, from there.
really don't know what we're doing. We're kind of making it up as we go along, just like we always do. So please don't watch this video to get an idea on how to do a barbed wire fence, but this is a video on how we're doing it. I tied this end to the post. I ten tensioned it at the far end, and then we're going and we're, we're measuring up and stapling like every 10th fence post. And then that gives us an average and we're stapling all the ones in between. That way the fence doesn't go up and down for every little bump of the ground. It kind of has like an average over 10 posts. I don't know if that makes any sense, but anyway, we're going to keep on going here. I'm not videoing the entire thing, but um, well, I'll just pop in and give you the odd update. I'm hoping to have, so I have one, two, I'd like to have four, I'd like to have four of the wires up. And then tomorrow, I would like, by the end of the day tomorrow, I would like to have the entire thing strung and tightened and all the staples done. But we'll see how it goes. This thing is a horrible idea. It has worked, but I think in future, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to build one where the, the roll is just hanging off of a string and it can spin because this thing, as I'm driving, like you're driving along and with the quad and this thing is spinning and then something will catch or it'll catch here or it'll catch on this side and then the whole thing just lurches backwards basically rips the rack off the quad it's it is very violent and very it's just it's just not a good idea so um if you're watching this video and you're trying to figure out how you're going to do your barbed wire do not do it like this this is this is a really bad idea and it it um I'm still using it because I'm almost done, but this is not something you want to design. That being said, we're going to finish off this, what we're doing and um, hopefully have this all stapled in by the end of the day. run pulled out and uh, I'm so glad that's done because that thing is about to rip the quad to pieces so we're done pulling wire out and Hannah just called and said breakfast is ready so we're gonna go eat breakfast and then the whole team's probably gonna come up and we'll finish this off as a family so almost there almost done I hate barbed wire I actually like it's the worst it's the worst thing to deal with it's horrible so I am glad this is almost done. All right, we're back up here. Uh, I have two of my helpers, Junior and Junior Junior. I'm five and I free. Yeah. Hmm. I got a brother named William. He's six. He's almost going to turn seven. Once upon a time, there was a bear that was hungry. And the bear... Daddy, remember this story? No. You tell, tell the, the story, I don't the, remember. The, the hungry bear. The bear ate grapes. Climbed a tree to eat the grape. Then it ate coconuts. Then it walked to a house. Ate, found a lady in the bed. Ate, gulped it all up. There's a Robin Hood coming this way to see her grandma. And she knocked on the door and said, come in. The end. I mean, she swallowed everybody and all the food. All right, I've got all five wires now tightened, tensioned, 
and ready to be stapled. Quinn, what have you guys been doing? Uh, it's denturing. Yeah. Quinn, what are you guys doing? It's denturing. Oh, where, what did you find? Nothing. No. Oh. Come on, James. Do you have a hammer? Yeah. Don't lose that. fence is complete. I've, uh, it's all stapled. It's tensioned. We have to do a little bit of cleanup, but that's going to be another day. I don't feel like doing that right now. But that is a huge job off of our checklist that we wanted to get done this spring. Pretty happy with the way it turned out. There's a few posts that are a little bit crooked. Like, in, ideally I'd want it to be straight as an arrow, but it is very hard to get it perfect but I'm fairly happy with it so it is raining today um, it's kind of, well it isn't raining it's kind of drizzling which is um, better than nothing it is the first time it has rained this much this entire year so it's our first rainfall I'm really hoping that we get something substantial as I have to go and I have to seed all of our fields with some cover crop um, I also have to fertilize the lawn, I have to reseed the lawn, and I've been waiting for a rainy day to do that. So I'm gonna, so this job is finished, I'm gonna go down to the house and I'm gonna go spread some seed.